With more insights into emotional freedom techniques, this is another free sample taken from the EFT Hub resource, featuring over 100 hours of tapping material and over 50 top tapping professionals. Here is your host and creator of the Hub, Gary Williams. Hello again, and now we're going to be spending some time with Alina Frank. And Alina talks about EFT being a form of focused intention and ritual and gives us tips on working with others and getting yourself out of the way. Here's Alina. Certainly, there are many ways of, uh, of using EFT and, and how we see EFT working in the body. For some, it's, it's a straight matter of, okay, so I'm engaging in this energy system or the meridian system. For, um, for me, I like to see it as a ritual that we are using when we are using focused intention, when we are engaging our, um, our thoughts, our intention, and when we see that we're assisting the body in repairing itself, right. miracles, miracles can happen, and they do. And that can take place in many different ways. And I just happen to like a very simple, effective method called EFT. But there are lots of different ways that healing can happen between two people or with yourself. Um, and the first step is definitely bringing attention to the problem and doing some kind of ritual, right, whether, that's, right. whether that's prayer or getting a pill or getting a placebo or something of that nature. Um, it's, you know, time after time after time, research should, suggests that it's really about um, the intention that, uh, especially when you're talking about subtle energy systems, right. the chakras and, and the meridians and auric fields and all of that, more can be directed because of, or should I say, it's more sensitive to intention than anything else. And that's why you can get great effects by not even tapping. Right. You don't have to physically be tapping to get great, great results. It's the intention behind it. So does that mean it's very important how you show up if you're going to be working with a client, say? Absolutely. Uh, you, you need to get your ego out of the way. And especially because the apex problem does show up quite a bit. Right. I remember um, walking down in my small town and bumping into someone that I had been working on uh, smoking, smoking cessation with. And I asked her, you know, how's it going with the, with the smoking? And she said, well, I'm not smoking anymore. And then she began, she proceeded to, to rattle off all these reasons why she wasn't smoking. Right. And of, of course, in my mind, I was thinking the whole time, well, it had to do with our work that we did on e using EFT. Um, but it, it's, you've got to get yourself out of the way and, and, um, get your ego out of the way and that also enables you to connect with something higher yeah and yeah. and that's when EFT works through you and not by you as Gary keeps saying yeah and and that's when you really do get insights and it'll lead you in certain down certain paths that you you previously hadn't seen um, it's it's very important to to conduct yourself in a professional manner, but the first thing is to, yeah, absolutely, set the intention that you're going to be helping this person um, one way or the other, even if it's just with a referral. Right. In fact, I, in fact, I have this sort of like this rule set that happens in my practice where I, I have these invisible rules that guide my practice. And um, we all live by these set of rules or belief sets. And in my practice, I know that everyone that comes to me is going to be helped in one way or another, even if it turns out that I can't work with them for whatever reason. I know that that's assisting them. Right. And um, so go in with the intention that, yes, one way or the other, this person is going to come to you for a reason to connect and you're fully present in the moment. And um, some of the ways that you can you can do that and, and assist yourself is that you create a, a space that is only for EFT or only working with clients. Right. And, and if you have a portion of your of your apartment and it's just a corner, that's fine. Don't have any toys, don't have messy laundry, don't have personal pictures. Um, just clean it of clutter and know that you're assigning that space as a healing sacred space. Right. In my practice, the way I have it set up is that once someone has set an appointment with me, 
um, they're welcome to send me um, information ahead of time in a document right. and an email and from from some people I just get one one uh, sentence I want to work on weight issues mm. from others I get like a 10 I, I I actually had the other day a 53 page document right, right. from someone else it was a whole dissertation a whole autobiography what that starts them thinking along the lines of okay if there really is an emotional reason that I have this thing going on in my life that's not working, what could possibly be at the core of it? And just starts them to think along those those lines, and that's really what I use it for. I just kind of skim the document, and um, but I allow enough space that, again, the work is happening through me and not by me. I'm not getting in my way, and that's when all kinds of magic happens that you get a certain hit, or some, they say a certain word, or you hear a ch- just slight change in their tone of voice that made, makes you think, aha, that's the direction I want to go in. That's another free sample for you there, and you can hear the full version inside the EFT Tapping resource at EFTTappingHub.com. <laughs> 